As a candidate, I promised that I would end this war. And that is what I am doing as president. And in Afghanistan, we're increasing our troops. But make no mistake, this war is ending and all of our troops are coming home. I supported the last administration's efforts to create the financial rescue program. And if there's one thing that has unified Democrats and Republicans and everybody in between, it's that we all hated the bank bailout. <laughs> Families across the country are tightening their belts and making tough decisions. The federal government should do the same. Tonight, I'm proposing that we take $30 billion of the money Wall Street banks have repaid and use it to help community banks give small businesses the credit they need to stay afloat. Like any cash-strapped family, we will work within a budget to invest in what we need and sacrifice what we don't. I urge the Senate to follow the House and pass a bill that will revitalize our community colleges and give families a $10,000 tax credit for four years of college and increase Pell Grants. That's the leadership we are providing. No wonder there's so much cynicism out there. No wonder there's so much disappointment. I have never been more hopeful about America's future than I am tonight. Let's seize this moment to start anew, to carry the dream forward. God bless you, and God bless the United States.